Simmons. hamburger steak with potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, you just kind of throw whatever. Um, typically people do it in full packets and put it down in the coals, but we actually just put it all in the Dutch oven. And it is so good. So mom is just using her little chopper mandolin thing and cutting up the potatoes and carrots right now and then we'll cut out the hamburgers. Alright, so all the potatoes and all the carrots are all cut up. And then next we just gotta get the hamburger patted out. Alright y'all, so I've kind of got you at a funky angle, but... So, Mama's gonna put just a little bit of water in the bottom of the Dutch oven. Kind of the same concept as why you like would put a little bit of water, some kind of juice in a crock pot. Just to kind of keep it off the bottom. And like I said, we just put the aluminum foil in there for ease of cleaning for ourselves. Um, so we do a little bit of water, layer the hamburger steaks in there. Like so, typically people do this in like little full packets. Um, we just do it all as kind of one big thing in the Dutch oven because that's what's easiest. So we've got the hamburger in the bottom. I'm gonna try to get you guys at a better angle. Okay. And like I so said, we have all the veggies. So. This is where that fancy, what is it, Mama? On that um, mise en mise en place to get all your stuff together first, except for the onions. So we fail on the mise en mise en place. <laughs> so we're putting some nature seasoning on the hamburger steaks. Y'all have seen me do that before, and you will see me do it a hundred more times. I put that on everything. <laughs> And then Mama adds a little bit of extra salt and pepper. It has salt and pepper in it. And then <laughs> the meat. <laughs> Alright. So, Mama's going to put a little bit of mushrooms. Just on a couple of them. I'm, I'm not a fan. Daddy's not a fan. But Clinton, Clinton loves some mushrooms so put mushrooms on his part he's babysitting while we're fixing dinner hi honey <laughs> and then we just on top of the hamburger steaks we just layer vegetables so we usually put most of the potatoes all together 
and then we'll throw the carrots in on top. And as you can tell, it's it's very pertinent that this is all perfectly evenly proportioned. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't matter. Just throw the crap in there. And just kind of for reference, so we're feeding four adults and then um, Kaysen and Callie and then Colin will get a little bit of it, but pretty much we're feeding four adults and two kids. And then a little bit of salt and pepper over the top once the veggies are all in. All right, so we've pretty much got this together. Hamburger steak on the bottom, potatoes, carrots, onions for flavor, and then an entire stick of butter cut up and just kind of laid across the top. Those fire pits are wet. The wood is put in to let air under the charcoal. That self-lighting charcoal is old, so it doesn't self-light so well. So I put a little pine wood and a little um, little pine wood under it to get it started and get it going good. And then we let this burn down to kind of cold. It burns down until the charcoal is starting to get white around the edges or the outside surface and then it's ready to use to cook with. Alright Pap, now what are we doing? I'm going to put the charcoal on the Dutch oven. I'm going to leave eight or ten bricks on the bottom. To leave heat underneath and I'm gonna put the rest on top. You can see what he was talking about where the edges of the charcoal are kind of getting white. Kids don't try this at home. Especially you kids don't try this at home. So there it'll sit for 15 minutes or so and we'll turn it a third turn and another 15 minutes turn it a third turn and about 40 minutes we'll check it. Open it up and check it. You don't want to open it up very often because you lose the heat and the steam out of the top of it. So just turn the, turn the lid about a third of the way around without actually opening it. And we'll turn the Dutch oven half or a third around to uh, even out any hot spots on top or underneath the oven so everything cooks evenly. When it's ready, you can see steam coming out the edges a lot of times. The vegetables will be a little brown on top and there will be the water will be bubbling juice will be bubbling boiling around the edges so this is ready to go so it's ready it's ready and that is why we line it with tin foil all we had to do was roll it up to catch the juice pull it out and toss it and now we don't have to clean the dough too did pat put your hammocks up yeah yeah are they good swinging hammocks? Yeah. Okay, so why aren't you roasting your marshmallow? Why are you sitting beside all the chocolate and graham crackers?